Hi, and welcome to my review of Giants Bobbleheads. Today we'll be taking a look at the 1987 reunion set that was given away in 2007. This was a special promotion where they gave away all four bobbleheads on one day. So there's actually only 5,000 of each of these types of bobbleheads ever made. So relatively difficult to find. First we'll start out with everyone's favorite player from the 1980s. This is Will Clark. Uh, Will Clark drafted number two overall in 1985 draft. Came up with a blast. Hit that home run off Nolan Ryan as everyone talks about. And uh, Will Clark classic pose. Uh, this guy's Clark, number 22. Classic uh, uniforms in the late 80s. Got the very different font that we, they did back then, not the kind of the scripted font they do now. The, the uniform is the bright white, not the cream color that they use now. And of course, being Will Clark, he's got the eye black under his eyes, which he always had. Uh, Will Clark uh, played for a long time, 1986 to 2000, I think uh, 1993, and he left as a free agent. Played a bunch of other teams, and eventually, uh, you know, he retired 2000, and just this last summer, uh, signed with the Giants as a, I think, a roving community special assistant to the partner or whatnot. But you see him at the ballpark a lot. Uh, I just walked by him the other day. I didn't even uh, notice that it was Will Clark. In any case, this is Will Clark, a very popular player, very popular bobblehead. And let's take a look at some of the others um, in the collection here. So this is Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell came to the Giants in 1987, was the uh, 1989 uh, National League MVP, hit like 49 home runs, 125 RBIs. He's got his uh, traveling road jersey, Mitchell number 7. Those of you who remember, it'll, he's depicted uh, catching that ball over his head. I think it was the first inning of the game in uh, St. Louis against uh, the Cardinals. I think the hitter was uh, Ozzie Smith. He hit a foul ball down the line. Uh, I think the story goes that Kevin Mitchell ran down the line, couldn't decide what to do. He looked up and decided, I'm just going to stick my hand out and catch it on my head. <laughs> Very iconically, this Kevin Mitchell caught the ball. It was one of the best highlights I've ever seen. And you remember that the Giants uh, jersey back in the old day used to be uh, road gray. And it's a very simple logo on the side. It didn't say San Francisco like they did now. Uh, Kevin Mitchell, again, MVP, traded away in 91 to the Seattle Mariners, I think. We got, uh, who was it? Bill Swift, Dave Burba, and uh, Mike Jackson. So, great trade for us, terrible trade for Seattle, but I think without those guys, uh, you know, we don't really uh, win the 93. Actually, we didn't win 93, did we? We won 103 games. We just feel like we did. In any case, the other interesting thing, if you can kind of tell of the, the way it's lighting works is Kevin Mitchell has that one goat tooth in the bobblehead. It's kind of actually funny that he went to that kind of detail to display it. But uh, Kevin Mitchell, you, you'll still see him at alumni games and uh, he was playing for, I think, the Crushers, Sonoma Crushers a while ago. But a uh, great player, great man, and uh, I'm sure that, uh, everyone uh, misses him. Uh, the next player, Matt Williams, um, everyone remembers. A lot of people are uh, very fond of the, the of the uh, 87 Giants for a number of reasons here. Matt Williams depicted uh, with that great smile, a great uh, look on his face. He's at the number nine Williams, the greatest third baseman the Giants have ever had. Uh, Matt Williams came up, I think he was drafted in 86, came up in 87 for a cup of coffee. Didn't really make the playoffs that year against the Cardinals, but uh, you know they kept sending him up and down in '88. Uh, couldn't hit the curveball for a while, and then once he figured that out, he just uh, you know stuck with the team. Went to the World Series in '89, and uh, you know one of, the, one of the greatest sluggers. And I think legitimately, if uh, not for the '94 uh, strike, I, I, I absolutely believe that Matt Williams legitimately would have broken Roger Maris' single season home run crown. Uh, would have been legit. I mean, he was on pace. Uh, there was nothing really to stop him, except the strike. In which case, uh, this is Matt Williams traded away uh, to, to I think Cleveland in that '96 I am not an idiot trade for a heck of a lot of traded uh, for a heck of a lot of players, including uh, who was it? Jeff Kent, Jose Vizcaino, uh, Joe Roa, and then I think a million dollars, which he went to get uh, Hambone, Daryl Hamilton from Texas. In any case, this is Matt Williams, a great player. You'll see him at alumni games every once in a while. And uh, lastly, this is Robbie Thompson, everyone's uh, favorite second baseman. Uh, All-star, drafted, I think, the supplemental 85 draft, 86 draft. Came up with the 86 same year as Will Clark. Was the Giants starting second baseman for 10 years between 1996 until 
19, let's see, 86 to 1996, and then after that, I think Jeff Kent took over from 96 to 2002, which is pretty amazing. You only have two people man one position for almost, you know, almost two decades. In any case, this is Robbie Thompson. He's posed at his position at uh, second base. He's got Thompson, number six. He's got the ball in his hand the way he did. Uh, if you guys remember, Jose Uribe and Robbie Thompson were probably one of the most prolific double play tandems in his day. Uh, in 1993, Robbie Thompson won the Gold Glove and the Silver Bat Award for second baseman as the best defensive and uh, offensive player at his position, which is amazing. Uh, Robbie Thompson I, he retired, I think, after 96, signed with Cleveland, and then just uh, wandered off into the sunset, you know. But uh, you'll see him around the ballpark at alumni games or uh, get-togethers and whatnot. So this is my set of the uh, San Francisco Giants uh, reunion set. I was lucky enough to have four tickets, went with four buddies, and we were able to collectively put our money together and, and get these four. Uh, you'll see a lot of these players uh, on eBay, either as a set or individually. I think Will Clark uh, is obviously the most expensive because he's iconically Will Clark. They didn't have bobbleheads back when he played, so it was the only bobblehead of Will Clark in a Giants jersey. Uh, makes a great Father's Day gift if you're really desperate and your father, brother, sister, or whoever family member is a Giants fan. I think you'll find Will Clark on eBay. He's the most expensive. I didn't see him list anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars. The rest of them, I think a little bit less. I think you'll probably get them for maybe like 80 dollars. I think you can get an all set of all four of them for maybe like 300 dollars. I think this is a pretty decent price to pay for four bobbleheads, especially if they're a set and you're like they're iconically of the Giants. Um, I think the note is that I think a lot of the gen younger generation of Giants fans don't really remember Willie Mays or Willie McCovey. Uh, uh, people in their 20s and 30s who grew up in the 80s, uh, they remember growing up every day looking out uh, the box score and seeing these guys playing. It was always Will Clark first, always Robbie Thompson, Jose Uribe, always Matt Williams at uh, third base for you know, forever, for for a long time, for almost a decade, you look at the box score, it was these guys. So these are iconic um, players that the current generation of Giants fans are most interested in seeing. And so if you're a Giants fan or a, either a long-term fan or a fan in the 80s, uh, this is definitely uh, a couple bobbleheads to add to your collection. And so if you can find them, absolutely add to your collection. Uh, and put them on display and they'll just put them in a box and hide them, you know, if this, you're ashamed of them or anything. They're not gold, they're not going to really uh, increase in value. I mean, this is a, a whatever it's going to cost. And if you are a fan of good art, good uh, craftsmanship, and you are a fan of baseball, you have a couple of bobbleheads. So take them out, you know, put them in a display case and let people come over and take a look at them. Because they are very interesting and, and we, it's a, a great conversation piece, even in my living room. In any case, thanks for uh, watching my film. And uh, go Giants. Bye.